Welcome back, guys, to a brand new video, of course, obviously, because obviously you've never watched this video before, so thank you for tuning in to something you've never seen before. We are here today with Midnight, all right, and we are going to be doing the front toe strap here, um, and I'm, oh, well, I'm not sure what size I should do it on. I probably, no, actually, it might be too cluttered there. No, this side, I'm going to do on this side. Either way, um, we're going to be doing the toe strap today, guys, so Midnight's going to be under the knife. I don't really want to do this. I have, like, no energy, but... I have to do it either it's either today or tomorrow and tomorrow I gotta help my grandma with stuff so it's it's gonna be it has to be today I have all day to do it though I have all night as well it'll probably be a slow process but we're gonna get it done so um I should probably show y'all how to go about this so to go about this um there's a whole bunch of clips right here you have to take off and uh, there's also a piece right here that I also took off as well I left it off though I don't really care about it much uh, you gotta take all these clips off and then there are the two uh, screws here on both sides you need to get those and there's also a whole bunch of clips and stuff down here it's a bolt there clips all over the place so there's a lot to do in order to take the bumper off and it's a really big pain in the butt you also have to disconnect the fog lights i'm not looking forward to doing much of this real quick i figured i would let you guys know what i'm working with got the drill here electric drill uh with the drill bit i got a whole bunch of different drill bits here i should only need like two but just in case i have more um flat heads some uh phillips uh, the flat heads are for removing all of the uh clips the the uh, phillips to remove the screws from the side of the fender or whatever and a really long bolt because i'm pretty sure with this car and you have to go all the way through the crash bar, which that's going to be really interesting. So this should be this should be a sufficient. I don't see why this bolt wouldn't be enough. Um, it's I mean you, you can look at it. It's a pretty it's a pretty nifty freaking bolt. So um, this is what we're working with, and uh, let's do it. The bumper is off. Now, it's interesting really seeing, I, with my last Civic, I did the same thing, but it's pretty freaking cool, man. You can see how dirty this is. This car is very dirty. I might actually straighten out some of these fins just to tighten it up, but here's the crash bar, and we have to drill all the way through this. Oh boy, this is gonna be a very interesting uh, thing to do. Now, I should have actually I, sh I might put the bumper back on real quick just so I can uh, decide where exactly I'm going to put the uh, toe strap. Uh, we'll see, but I have to drill straight through this, so let's see. guys so we got it as you can see the drill bit goes all the way through and we should be solid so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the bolt make sure it fits there we go guys now I'm not gonna lie to you it's kind of a tight fit so I have some washers here that I'll use just to you know make sure it's make sure it's set So that's it right here. Now the bolt is very long. Uh, here, the bolt is very long, but I do have clearance, guys. It's not touching. 
So we are good here, and it is rock freaking solid, guys. That is amazing. That's what we wanted. Now we're all done. We can throw on the front bumper, guys. All, all of that work just for that, but it's gonna pay off, guys. It actually looks really good, and uh, I'm actually very excited to uh, see how it looks with the bumper on. I did go ahead and I went the extra mile. I used the zip tie to kind of, this was kind of sagging a little bit. I'm not sure if it was in the way, but just to, you know, make it look nice and, and neater, I did zip tie it. That way it kind of stays. See how it's like perfectly level now? At first it was like sagging. So other than that, guys, I mean, we're ready to put the bumper back on. I'm just kind of looking at stuff, seeing what's down here, see if anything's wrong. Everything does look pretty solid though. Uh, got a lot of washer fluid. Look at that. It's more horsepower right there. And uh, I'm really happy how this came out, guys. I'm really excited to throw the bumper on. Um, I'm thinking maybe cutting one of these out, little supports, maybe. To let it, I don't. I don't think I will. But you know. So I had a lot of people tell me, cut the bolt. You know what I'm saying? And that's fair. I, I don't know why I didn't think about that. Because if I got into an accident or something, it would go right through my radiator and something else. So I cut the bolt using this twice because I decided to shorten it even more. So there is nothing, look at that. It's perfectly flush, guys. Look at that. Rock solid too. We're freaking set, guys. We are freaking set. So that's done. We're good to go. Thank you, Tool. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the bumper on. I, I was gonna remove the mesh here, guys. I don't really think it's that good of an idea. I, unless I have something else to replace it with, but I don't, I don't see anything else. I was hoping maybe like like some screen or something nicer. I don't really like how that looks. It's kind of ugly, but I don't, I don't think I'm gonna mess with it. Guys, I lost my water. I have no idea what I did with it. I do this all the time. I swear to God, I do this all the time. I literally cannot find it. Oh, I just kicked something. Oh, that's important. <laughs> I found my water. Yep. And the freaking toolbox, guys, because water is a tool, guys. All right, water is a tool to keep your body healthy. This is not sponsored by Zephyr Hills, but Zephyr Hills, if you want to sponsor me, sponsor me, all right? All right, guys, so you guys know I like to do a lot of custom things, like that toe strap, the wing supports. I don't like to really follow the crowd. So with this bumper, I mean, don't get me wrong, this bumper is going to stay, but the grill might not. But right now, I'm actually cutting these out to give more room for the toe strap here. I kind of want to cut this whole section out, everything. And then maybe just leave this side, although, I don't know, I just, I don't really like how they look. Um, the SI badge is here, though, which I, I do want to keep the SI badge, I'm not going to lie with you. But, um, I'm not really sure, I, I kind of, this, I think I'm going to remove, uh, maybe, I want to remove all this on this side. I, I just do, because I feel like it would look a lot cleaner, like I said, with the toe strap hanging out. I don't really know, though. guys bumpers back on for some reason and i think it was like this when i bought it this side won't go down like i said i'm pretty sure it was like this when i bought it but i can't get this side to really pop back in uh let me try something real quick yeah it won't go back in guys it's almost as if something's not clipped down here but no matter how much i push on it nothing's happening so and like i said i'm pretty sure there was there was one side it was this side before I even did this, that was kind of up, so I guess the clip was already kind of messed up. Either way, though, we are finished. Toe strap is functional, guys. Look at that. Amazing. I also did cut out um, the bottom pieces here. That way it has room to swivel around. Um, um, I didn't do the top. I left it. But that's pretty much it, guys. So a lot of work just for a toe strap, but it is worth it. Now, the next time I'll have to take the bumper off is for the intercooler. And if I get a different grill, which might, don't really know. I don't I don't really plan on it, but you never know. So yeah, so that concludes this video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, a lot of work. It took me about five hours, maybe? But it was definitely worth it, guys.
So that is the finished result. Looks really good, guys. Looks really good. And uh, you know what's funny is I, <laughs> I put the bumper on and completely forgot to actually plug back in the fog lights. I had to literally go back. I didn't have to take the whole thing off, but I had to unbolt something, take out the screws, and then like pull the bumper, and it was a pain in the butt. But we did it, guys. It is completely sturdy. Now, it does, I guess, pull in the bumper a little bit, but not very much, though. As you can see, like it barely, barely flexes. You probably can't really see it on camera, but it's perfect, guys, what we wanted. So now whenever I get towed, it will be functional, and look at that. It will do just fine with a tow. As always, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Uh, I gotta get cleaned up. I'm gross, like always. And uh, stay tuned for more, because like I said, we've got some big things happening. This is only little stuff we're doing. We're not even there yet. Wait till I have to take off the whole bumper again to do my intercooler. Just wait, it'll be a lot of fun. Deuces! Wait, wait, real quick before I go. Sorry, sorry. I did some adjustments, so real quick, I cut out actually this whole thing like see how this is here it's not on this side it gives me more room also uh i did it actually because i had to drill a hole and the reason being is i had to actually tighten this down i cut the bolt too short to the point where i had to uh actually take out the washers i kind of i put washers in here for no reason okay i thought i needed them but i didn't so i actually took them out so i can get the bolt longer so i can tighten it and it actually is now perfect so I got a hole, but I mean, it kind of covers it. It doesn't really matter. Um, and honestly, I am gonna get a different grill sometime, eventually probably, because on track, that's not gonna cut it. Uh, I mean, it, it'll be fine for now, but I'm gonna probably want like the Jay's Racing Grill or something a lot more open than this. So either way, but that, that's what I did, quick update.